I was saying in the previous video, my I was asked if I was religious today, and I didn't answer it because the statement I was given had no... My religion had no reason to be brought into it. Which I think anyone would agree with me and say, well, you can make a statement by saying I can give the truth. And what I'm saying is, you know, is the truth. And so you don't have to bring your religion into it. Um, I don't know what the fuck is going on in the last nine years. I really don't. But yeah, I was brought up extremely religious. Yeah, I was. Anyone who knows me knows that. So... What, is that something else I've got to put for immigration? Well, if you know me, you know I'm brought up religious. We were brought up Roman Catholic. We're not Christians, we're Roman Catholics. You know that. My church in Tamworth is St. Nicholas. My church in Sydney was St. Mary's Cathedral, St. Pat's in Blacktown, or St. Aidan's in Rudy Hill. There's my three churches in Sydney. Tamworth was St. Nicholas. But anyone who knows my family would know that when my twin sister Amanda and myself was born, my grandparents, Reg and Lola, had the priest there to baptize us as soon as we were born. As soon as we came out, the priest was in the delivery room with mum. So, am I religious? The priest was in the fucking delivery room when I was being born. Yeah. I grew up in a religious family of Roman Catholics. What is going on? Because my religion has been brought up more than once in the last nine years and it makes no sense. And the fact that I know... Well, the fact that I know Islam. What is going on? Why would you find that unusual when part of my education is religious studies? Why would you find that unusual? It's like, well, yeah, I did pass religious studies and education. It's there in my curriculum. And as a Roman Catholic, you, well, at St. Aidan's we learned, the, actually not even just at St. Aidan's, when I had Brother Hemel as my religious teacher. So my principal, Brother Hemel, was my religious teacher, and he actually wrote a letter home to Mum regarding how good I was in my religious studies. Um, knowing the um, translation of languages for the Bible, so Aramaic Hebrew, Hebrew, where uh, Brukata Adonai uh, Misfar, which is in Genesis, yes. Is this because of 2017? Why? Because idiots were spying in my life and they thought, what, that I wouldn't be reading the Bible? Or that I was having a breakdown because I was reading the Bible and praying? If you didn't spy on my life, you wouldn't know that I read the Bible and pray and used to do it religiously. Well, that's hilarious. Um, go to St. Mary's Cathedral. Like, what the fuck? I am brought up in a strict religious Roman Catholic family. But what has that got to do with anybody? Those people who are spied into my life shouldn't have spied into my life. They are. So my, what I do and my religious beliefs, that's private and that's personal. You people made it public. That's not right. What you did is criminal. You don't do that to someone. What was done in 27, you don't go and spy into somebody's life. You don't do that. Mm, that's fucking sick. For starters, that's that's wrong. But yeah, seriously, no. And I think I've got cut. Well, I know my mum's sister, Robin Childs. Her children are atheists. They're brought up atheist, but that's them. They went to public schools. We went to strict Roman Catholic schools. We went to private schools. Amanda and myself. We're different. I don't know if my stepfather was, I think my stepfather was Church of England or something. I, I know my dad is a different religion. Is this to do, what has this got to do with? It makes no sense in the last nine years. And this is not the first time. It's like, well, it makes no sense to bring up my religion unless it's going for immigration. They say, oh, what religion are you? Well, I'm Roman Catholic. Do you follow religion? Yeah. Not exactly to the each page of the Bible, because I am a homosexual man. But, yeah, I follow my religion. Uh, it doesn't matter. Look, I, I'm I'm done. Seriously. I mean, yeah, I still do Lent and Ash Wednesday. Christ, I, you know, got in... Um, I got in the three Ash Wednesdays. 
And I went to two. I went to, um, yeah, St. Pat's in New York and went to Bartholomew's. And um, then I went for, during Lent to, um, um, oh, the one up there at Rector Street, Trinity. But yeah, like why, why, who's making up the stuff? Because we're not Church of England. We're not that weird religion. We don't, uh, who's making up shit to say that I wasn't? Or why am I like, has my life been under a microscope anyway for nine years? Oh, has it got to do with immigration? Then get rid of immigration. I want nothing to do with it. If it's got to be that fine tuned for someone that went for the green card process the right way, when America lets illegal immigrants in that, um, you know, maybe I should just go into America as a legal immigrant because they get treated better than people that go for the green card process the right way. So I, like I made it clear, I, forget it. Forget it, because you let so many illegal immigrants in. Like, and I can tell you where I lived with the amount of illegal immigrants in, and you give them everything, and they don't go under any scrutiny because they don't have to be through government departments monitored or anything bullshit like that. So what is it? Like, don't, don't, I don't give a shit about immigration. I've looked at a country and it's like, oh, my God, all the illegal immigrants, and there's a lot. And you'd be working next to illegal immigrants, and it's like, well, people know they're illegal. And they're staying, they're working here, whatever, and uh, there's nothing that's going to happen to them, but they don't have to go and report to a government department. The only difference is they're in the country living in freedom. Um, why everyone else that went through the green card process the right way is, well, scrutinized. <laughs> that's the only difference. You know, oh, you didn't tick this box type thing. Meanwhile, there's you're the one person that went through the green card process the right way, and there's 10 illegals in front of you. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't, you know, that side of things. But, like, no, it's weird. What the fuck's going on? Like, well, I'll wait because someone's trying to make me out to have a psychotic breakdown because I was religious. When haven't I been religious? I, and that person who would say that mustn't know me because, well, you would know my upbringing as being Roman Catholic. You would know that I've got a religious upbringing. You know that I've never stopped my religion. Is that why? Because some tickets did try to say, oh, he's had a psychotic breakdown because he's found religion. It's like, no, I come from religious upbringing. I never, my religion hasn't stopped. It hasn't. Maybe it was the, the gay groups that were doing it, the leftist groups. And the fact that I know Islam, well, yeah, why wouldn't I? Religious education, religious studies were part of Our Lady of the Rosary College. Seriously, did no one pay attention? I mean, I must admit, I loved like um, having lessons with Brother Hemel. He was really lovely. He was just one of the real sort of would take time like to, to teach you things, to teach you. He wasn't an arsehole. Uh, Brother Hemel was our principal. He was one of the nicest principals they ever have. Um, he was like new age type thing. He wasn't one of the strict brothers. Um, but yeah. And Father Henna, well, Father Henna in my high school, his cousin in Sydney, the other Father Henna, baptized a man or myself when I was born. So, yeah, um, th this is weird. And this was brought up in 2017. Like I had a year to try to go, I was doing it for attention. I'm religious. I've never not been religious. You've made me, actually, I've been made feel very uncomfortable to do things that I would naturally do, like walk past, if I walk past a church, I would always bless myself. I, I don't know. Look, look, people are just wankers of fucking people that have harassed my life for nine years, and these wankers of fucking people can stop harassing my life. Like, I made it clear I'm not going to ever support immigration again after immigration fuckwits harassed my life. What else? Mental health fucking dickhead walk workers? Who else? Like, if you don't know something about me, like, do I have to now go get all my religious background checked and notarized and go for the Department of Foreign Affairs as well? Do I have to do that? Like, what else? Well, I'll go do that as well. What else do I have to do? Because I've done more than what any other one ever, person has ever done. Turned off. Like, so, yes, I am religious. Yes, I've had a religious upbringing. Yes, I have never stopped practicing my Roman Catholic religion. No, I didn't 
do anything because I was having a psychotic breakdown. Yes, I've always read the Bible. Yes, I know in Genesis where Misfwa is. Uh, yes, Hebrew, Aramaic, and even Greek was part of my translations into the Bible. Um, yes, this was taught in St. Aidan's and in um, LA of the Rosary College. So, yes, I've gone to two major Roman Catholic private schools. Yes, I've been, the church has been a massive, huge part of my life. What the fuck is going on and why haven't I got a solicitor yet to try and help resolve this? I don't want anything to do with any of these organizations. I'm not going to ever have anything to do with immigration again. Like I'm turned off. I'm only getting stuff notarized and put through Department of Foreign Affairs so I can have it bulletproof basically to say, well, there you go, immigration. You owe me damages. What I said was the truth. But don't bother coming back around near me. Because I won't ever support immigration in or out of Australia ever again.